is what we have to work with here. Flooding rivers. figuring now on this first one and then we're going to do the rest of them. We finally found all the nuts we need. Now we're having to re-thread them over here, as always. Yeah. All right, with the uh, nuts threaded, Back out here hitting this. Two down, two to go. Oh, that's my steady hand on this camera. Keep this up, it just may rain. I was over in the house, I really sharpened this, adjusted it up. I've moved this in more so it's closer to the rock. So now it's not so much off center as it was. Cool. We'll get a little grinding action here on the camel. Oh, this is a uh, drill bit sharpener in case anybody was wondering. doing is drilling out these holes out there for the look at my steady camera we're getting them up to a uh, what is that size of mm -hmm. bit you know, those are half inch all right we're drilling out now here with the center point there the uh, we found our center point I should say now we're drilling out These are going to be the inside legs for that rascal. I'm going to stick the half inch bit in there and hit it. No, we're going to have to go with it. Now we're getting the half inch. When you just sharpen. Go up in here. Mm -hmm. Did you feel it grabbing? It's not cutting. No, it didn't go in all the way. All right, so let's um, check this one out. Yeah, we'll stick that one on there and see how it does. All right. Got that on through there. Now we're going to push it on up here for our lower setting all the way up into here. And we're going to do the same thing. And we may end up doing a medium setting, I don't know. It would depend. Probably not right now. Yeah, it'd be a bit medium. Problem is, see, I thought I had it up to there. That's what I thought. But it fell either way, so what we'll do is... Do it 
this way here. Oh, I know what we need. We need the uh, transfer punch. Oh, yeah. That'd be fine. What are you doing, putting these on the, uh, at the bottom, bottom inside? That's the way I had it, but it'll go in there either way. Okay. Well, let's grab the transfer punch. Transfer punch. That's what that's for. Right in here. Just like that. Now we gotta do the bottom one. Yeah, I gotta get the bottom. <laughs> That'll be funner. You gotta crawl up under here and put the camera down. Alright, we got the uh, threaded rod going through there. Now we're gonna make it where we can run that uh, nut up at here and make it where it won't never move. The one nut that we don't want to ever move. We just want the other one to be uh, adjustable. So you can take it off and uh, adjust these to the different hole settings. Here's the next step. This middle part here will never be used as any kind of a thread anymore. Put your locking pliers on there and your crescent wrench. Tighten that nut down up against the top here. And she won't be moving no more. Alright, now time to mark our threaded rod here so we can, uh, ain't got it five foot sticking out over here to cripple somebody. He's putting the nut we're going to use up against there and just marking it on the threaded rod right there. We're going to take it back in here to the bandsaw and cut that off. Alright. Yeah. What's wrong with it? it? Takes forever to focus this camera. You first turn it on and I had to tell him to wait a minute before he cut through just so we could get that on tape. Because the camera's still focused. what he just did on there on the knife grinder was uh, get that end uh, smoothed down on there so it will go on there very very go through there very very easy got this one over here on also now what we got to do is uh, the bottom two Just got it finished up. We uh, just raised it here for the picture, but I'm gonna lower it for what I need. So I'm gonna lower it back down and go ahead and get the boat setting back on it. What the?